today I'm going to talk about the LifeX light bulbs. I think this is the first generation, uh, Color 1000. It's really good. I've got it connected to my Alexa, uh, my Amazon Echo. Um, I can control the colour, I can dim the light. Um, it's really easy to set up and I'll walk you through the steps in this video. Just give you a quick demo uh, if you're wondering why I'm standing here in the dark. Um, because I'm going to do this. Alexa, turn on the living room light. Okay. Ta-da! Alexa, dim the light to 50%. Sorry, I couldn't find a device. Alexa! Alexa, dim the living room light to 50%. That's okay. better. Alexa, dim the living room light to 25%. Okay, I can find a device. Alexa, dim the living room light to 100%. And there you go, controlling the LifeX bulb through my Amazon Aleco Dot, um, courtesy of Alexa. One frustrating thing is uh, I've not figured out how um, to get my Echo Dot to actually change the colour of this bulb. Um, but I will show you the different colours you can use. Pretty much any colour you want, you can control it off your mobile phone on the Smart App. Uh, and I'll give you a demo of each colour. Like red, green, blue, pink to make the boys wink, and every colour in between. You can also set effects on it like a candlelight flicker effect. Uh, you can do a spooky effect which turns the light out at random intervals. Uh, I've got colour rotation on at the minute, so it's just going to go through all the different colours. Um, it's even got strobe light on it, but um, that's mint. Makes you feel like you're in a rave in the 90s. Um, the only thing is that will only flash white. Um, but yeah, if you've got a, a party going, get the strobe light going. It's epic. Um, yeah, I'll show you how to set up the bulb in the app, and I'll show you some of the features in there as well. Okay, so let me take you through the LifeX uh, smartphone application. This is on my iPhone. You can get this on Android as well. Okay, let's load it up. So first of all, let's go to the color wheel. So this is where you can basically you just wheel and you can change it to any color you want. Um, very good. Let's put it on, on red for now. Now, um, to the top of the wheel, is a circle which is, is highlighted in red at the minute you can move that up and down and that kind of sets the intensity of the color so yeah and then <clears throat> right in the middle of the wheel is your kind of uh, call this the dim wheel so if you push it up I'll turn the brightness up push it down you can dim the bulb really low to look at the whites and again it's just different shades of white different warmth and stuff themes um you see so you got like a santa and holly uh christmas theme you got mellow relaxing you just press them and it'll change the bulb accordingly if you've got multiple bulbs then it kind of you can set a scene across a whole house which is good here's your effect you've got candle flicker um that basically makes a light flicker um, to imitate a candle, um, color cool. goes through all the different colors as you expect. Music visualizer, uh, so you can just set that to random colors in there. Spooky, and again you can say right, um, flicker on average every six seconds, blackout every hundred and twenty seconds. You can change that. Strobe. Now when you press on this, you should get a warning. Yeah, warning. Strobing. Strobing is limited for recommended safe levels. However, in rare cases, it is possible to trigger a seizure in some people. Do not use if you suffer from photosen... I can't even say that. Photosensitive epilepsy. Yeah. But 
uh, it's good fun to try it uh, and then you can animate a theme uh, select a theme with this effect enable to choose which colors animate across your themes um, <coughs> okay so that shows you the different things you can do in here you can edit some things as well uh, let's go to settings uh, and if I was going to create a new a bulb then I'd go on the plus symbol connect a light and what it will do is it'll say connect bulb to Wi-Fi so first thing you've got to do really is put your bulb in and make sure it's powered on and um, the light will come on and it will create its, um, its own little Wi-Fi hotspot which you connect to uh, through your phone like you would at any other you know when you're connecting to Wi-Fi you basically uh, you look for a Wi-Fi called LifeX1234 then what it says no it says LifeX bulb then there's a number then if if asked for a password it's LifeX1234 it's never asked me for one um, and then once you've done that you'll come back to this app and then what it will ask you to do is basically just give um, the light bulb a name and um, so the one I've got I've called it living room it asks you to put that in a group and um, so for me I've got one bulb at the minute so I've just called it all groups uh, and I've got a group just for the living room light as well if I had multiple lights uh, throughout the house I might have a group for upstairs I might have a group for downstairs etc and things like that so let's just have a look at this so let's create a new schedule so name schedule one start time uh, you set a time for it to start repeat uh, so basically what you can do with this is you can say you're at, at uh, I don't know, 7 a.m. every morning turn the light on and make it red make it blue make it pink etc um, so yeah the app is so simple to use you can't go wrong it's, it's just I'm going to get these bulbs throughout my house. Apparently, they're supposed to last for, I think it's forty thousand hours. Which, you know, you do the maths. These, yeah, okay. These bulbs are expensive. They're not cheap, but they're going to last a long time. Um, they're energy efficient, so you should get your money back when you compare that to how much you would pay for normal light bulbs, uh, for example. Anyway, that's the LifeX bulb and app. Uh, I've shown you how you can integrate it with um, the Amazon Echo. For me personally, um, when I was looking at smart bulbs, it was either this or the Philips Hue. With the Philips Hue, I didn't like the idea of having a bridge that would control the lights. Um, one, I've just got so many things plugged in, I just didn't want a, another additional thing to plug in. Um, and the cost as well so the starter kit for the hue is quite expensive with where with LifeX there's no hub you can buy <coughs> one bulb at a time um, and you can just control